Transformers, more than meets the eye. Autobots cleans their pedal to destroy the evil forces of the Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the eHobby exclusive collector's edition Destron GoBot pack. So, you may or may not have seen this before and in all honesty I've been meaning and wanting to do this for absolutely ages but I think now's the, the perfect opportunity for a couple of reasons. One, that these are all of a sudden people are starting to understand who they are. For instance, Bug Bite, who is of course the redeco of Bumblebee. We've had a Generation Select version of him already and it looks like well we've seen pictures already that we're going to be getting a road ranger which is of course huffer's redeco as well so a couple of reasons that they seem to be very current and for some people they might not know why we're getting these special generation selects figures so we're going to look at this set for that reason so for those people who don't know i'm not going to go into too much detail but basically eHobby is a takara tomi affiliated online store and it's owned by part one now they've been working pretty much with takara since since they started transformers in honesty they've helped them with loads of things including vinyl tech packaging and stuff like that you can see that they're fully licensed to use all of the images and everything to do with transformers and diaclone there's that beautiful battle scene on the back uh, but they didn't release anything themselves until 2001 this was that was their first e-hobby release and it was the version of black megatron so what e-hobby are known for and they are japanese exclusives is basically what you're about to see in front of you redecos of original g1 colors with sort of different names so like road rage for example the red tracks they released an e-hobby version of that um hauler the green uh, grapple so loads of things like that so you might have seen and heard little bits about them but we're unsure and again without going into too much detail that's basically who they are so i am going to open these and i am going to look at them um you'll forgive me if i don't remove this collector's card oh i'm going to show you the collector's card though so i'm going to take this off and i am going to transform them and it will probably be for the only time that i'm ever going to do it so let me just hold them in there there is the collector's card that you get with it and i love the fact again you know the original takari takara tomi figures all had collector's cards as well so let's have a look at the figures the instructions are just standard what you'd expect to see and i'm just going to move them out of the way and then i'm going to take the casing off and i'm going to line them all up first and foremost i'm going to do of course i'm going to do some comparisons with the original g1 selves i'm just going to carefully take these out but yeah i would imagine and it wouldn't surprise me that over the next few years if we saw all of these i suppose as part of the generation selects toy line if they've already got the figures we already know that we're getting as i say road ranger we've already had bug bite and we're also having uh, puffer which is exactly completely nothing to do with these but another little avenue right is that going to sit there okay oh no it re reflects too much so let's go in order then so we've got bug bite who's there who is a redeco of bumblebee there we go i'll just pop them two there then we've got bad boy who is a redeco of powerglide there we go Next is Pathfinder. Pathfinder. Now, I think the colour scheme on this guy just looks brilliant. Pathfinder is Cosmos. And we've got Road Ranger. I've already mentioned him a few times. There we go. Again, I will be transforming these in a second for you all. Smallfoot is Gears. So there's Smallfoot. And it's funny because they've called the pack Destron, but they're not all Decepticons, obviously. And then, of course, Treads. What a great name for a tank. Treads is, of course, Warpath. And again, these are all officially licensed by Takara. So they're not any of these crazy coloured knockoffs that you can see knocking around here and there and everywhere. Right. So let's just do some transformations of them. Then I don't even know if these have been transformed before. And again, this will be the last time that they're done. I don't think they have, to be fair. Look how. Yeah, I don't think these have been transformed before and as i'm keeping these for myself for a long long time i'm going to be transforming them there we go oh it's got the new bumblebee head sculpts that they used in uh, i think it was the walmart version 
And that's just so I don't have to transform my others as well. There we go. Let's move on to Paraglide. So let's pop him down. Take it down. Uh, don't really want to do this, but let's do it. Turn it around, fold it up nice and careful. Turn the arms down. There we go. I need to turn his head around, don't I? See how long it's been since I've done a power glide transformation. There we go. I might have to move these over in a second. In fact, what I'll do, because they're definitely not all going to fit. Let's just move all the original ones first and foremost. Put the new ones and then we'll do the comparisons after. So again, another ingenious idea, really, by um, Takara and Ehobi to, to do these. And again, nowadays as well, because as I've just said, I pretty much expect us to fully get all new versions of these when they release the normal generations versions of these particular figures let's move these out of the way it's just good to see what they've done with the um color scheme isn't it right road ranger so this guy might look familiar now because we've seen pictures on the internet of the new version of him carefully out look at that brilliant i'm not going to force the head up to be honest i'm just going to leave that right there i'm sure you understand small foot next gears fold him out let's make sure they all fit just about and then treads all the way out up nice and careful slide that back there we go so there they all are transformed. What I'm going to do, rather than lying on them all like that, I'm going to quickly just pick them up one at a time just to show you the comparison in their robot mode. And that's all they are. They, these literally are straight up redecos. So for those of you new to collecting and you're wondering what the term redeco means, it's exactly that, like redecorative or redecoration, basically just a repaint. Figure stays exactly the same. They haven't bothered doing a slight retool, which is another term that you'll come to hear quite a lot which is where they use the same mold but then just retool something slightly different usually it's a head or something like that um, there's loads of these terminology that i remember myself when i was getting into collecting didn't have a clue what any of them meant but um so hopefully as i say you're finding this um useful for those people already know uh, i suppose i'm sorry i'm telling you things that you already know really impressed really impressed with pathfinder he looks beautiful power glide very quickly and i know it sounds silly but look it's just a color scheme different but he pathfinder already looks sorry bad boy already looks he looks evil he doesn't look nice he looks like he definitely looks like a decepticon just for, just for the colors on him and just then very quickly we're gonna do bug bite for the last time right there you go. I'm not going to put you through the torture of just transforming them all back and putting them back in a box. So I hope you found this interesting. Um, okay, as I say, let's watch this space and see on the, how many more of these we do get new updated versions on. So I hope you found this interesting, guys. And keep your ideas and suggestions coming forward. And of course, please take care. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe.